Welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as we continue this German campaign that began in 1900. It is now March of 1907. We've got some new technology in turret mechanisms, electrohydraulic turrets that we can put to use uh, when the opportunity presents itself. We have no ships currently being built, but our monthly balance is pretty, pretty even, uh, and we've got a decent advantage in numbers except for with torpedo boats which is obviously not an issue i'm too concerned about i do want to get our light cruiser number up a little bit just because we are behind on that uh, looking at ship design we we did have a recent light cruiser design uh, from 1904 but i want to go ahead uh, and build a new one with our newest technology that we have available to us uh, so let's go ahead and take a look we've got light cruiser 4 now available so um, let's look at our most recent design that we had. Uh, it was 7,000 tons, which we can go to 8,000 tons now. Uh, the build time was about 12 months, so that'll take a little while. 27 and a half knots uh, was the top speed. Looks like 28.9 seems like a good place to go with the new one. Uh, we had 7-inch guns, 5-inch guns, and underwater torpedo tubes. So I think we'll go with something similar here. And do want to at least get standard crew quarters. Try and get the best of everything we can, and then we'll see where we're at in terms of weight after all of that. We've got Front Tower 5 available to us now, which is nice. Rear Tower 7. So I do like this new hull design that we've got available to us. Uh, large funnel. Looks like we can only squeeze two of these. Actually, only one? That seems strange. I thought uh, if we move that up a little bit, then we can get a second funnel in there. But we're not going to be able to get three no matter what. Where are we at on engine efficiency is only 34%. That's pretty brutal. And I don't know that there's anything we can do to make that better. Without having another funnel somehow. But I don't think there's another place we can put a funnel. So, Alright, that's a little frustrating. That's a pretty poor engine efficiency to have. And that almost gets us to the max weight before we even start with. So maybe we'll go down to 27 knots. Just that only gets our engine efficiency up to uh, 46. And we haven't even started added things yet. Uh, seven inch guns, I guess. We'll throw one on the front, one on the rear. Get some torpedo launchers going. Maybe a couple of casemate guns, three inch guns on each side. Man, I hate that engine efficiency, but I don't know what else we can do about it. I want to get the better turrets going. I'm not sure I want to increase the flash fire chance too much. I do like the white powder charges though. They're propellants. Um, Alright, we'll take our chances with these. We can get a little bit of armor on it. Not a lot. Throw a little bit of deck armor on there. Not a whole lot. We've got a bit of a four weight offset. I don't think we can move the guns though. That'll help some. Alright, let's go with that. Not a lot of guns on it. But we'll have better technology. So I like it. We'll build a few of those. We're ten behind the enemy so what you say we build 10 of them we'll have to adjust our budget some to account for that we do have 1898 technology here but for now I want to keep all of those ships in the fleet so let's drop our tech budget a little bit that actually gets us to a positive number right there so that works it's going to take about a year to get those new ships in, though. Now, this is huge. The torpedo 
gyroscope 3000 meter on torpedo range 31 knot speed plus 75 percent to accuracy um now that said to do so i don't know if that means maybe it's not available yet and i don't know if that automatically happens to to the torpedoes on the ships we already have or if that's something that only applies to new technology i guess we're going to find out the next time we go into battle we haven't had any battles to show up here's a good battle here we've got two battleships one of our really big new ones plus an older one uh against one of his battleships with some light cruisers should be a pretty easy or uh, even fight i'm excited to use this one okay here we go all right so the torpedoes are still 1.5 kilometers so obviously that technology does not automatically apply to the existing torpedoes i guess it's only going to be on new ships so now i find myself kind of wishing i could scrap those light cruisers i just built but oh well it is what it is let's go ahead and switch to ai so we can start hunting down the enemy we've just got the four ships We're actually out front with the smaller of the two battleships. Here's our newer one here. All right, we've spotted him. His battleship's out front. So first things first, I'm going to go right in with this destroyer. See if I can't get a torpedo run on him. We've got eight torpedoes on this thing. They're Mark II's, 17 inch diameter. Looks like his other ships are here and here. So this might get tricky trying to get at that battleship with these other guys charging in like they are. Let's start by getting our secondaries. Nope, not that. Getting our secondaries firing on this other ship. Yeah, we might have a tricky time here. Although I wouldn't mind getting his warship to put his torpedoes on, on my destroyer instead of on my battleship. Might have a hard time getting at him. I do not like how close they're getting in on me. I'm actually gonna get get my big guns firing on them too. No, they put their torpedoes at them. I wanted them at the battleship. Ah! Uh, they launched their torpedoes at the smaller ships and completely wasted them. I was aiming at the battleship, and then they they switched who they were aiming at. Ah! Uh, that's so frustrating. And now we're gonna lose this destroyer. Unreal! What a waste. Do not switch again. All right, I'm going to turn off the torpedoes so that doesn't happen again. That was my mistake for leaving them on. We could send the torpedo boat up there too. Do the same thing. Oh no, he's... He's firing on this destroyer now. We're going to lose it. Jeez. It'll lighten him up. That was our chance before the, the first torpedoes got fired. And now we're going to lose it. 
Ah, uh, frustrating. Alright, here we go. We're gonna make a run here. Gonna have one shot at this. Put him in the water. What are we waiting on? Where are the torpedoes? Oh, they're still tor turning the tubes. Darn it. That's still one thing I wish they would fix on here. When you have your torpedo tubes off, you can't aim the torpedo tubes. And so by the time I got in position to fire, I was past him. Ugh, okay. And this guy's dead in the water, he can't hardly move. Completely wasted both of my, both of those ships. All right, we're gonna have to at least take out this destroyer with some torpedoes before we lose them. I only fired one. Uh, all right. Okay, it's all about the battleships now. We did some pretty significant damage on the Mosquito, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to finish them. Alright, let's turn off here. If we can get some more speed going, we might be able to catch up to this battleship and put a torpedo on them before they sink. Getting some significant damage on the queen, so that's good. We just put a torpedo in the water, though I don't expect it to hit. Well, maybe. I think we got a decent chance to hit with this thing. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, we got him. Oh, nice. That might be a kill shot. Look how much flooding. That did. I think that torpedo is a kill shot. Nice. We did. We sank the battleship. All right, now we go after the secondaries. Mosquito's almost dead. I think we got him. We did. All right. Let's go look at the queen going down. Beautiful. Oh boy. What's going on here? 
Why are we overrunning each other like this? What happened? Really confused by what's happening here. They're supposed to be in the same formation. This shouldn't be happening. At least it doesn't cause damage, but holy cow, what is the issue here? I think we got a little glitch or something. Now let's try to turn out of this. What in the world? All right, let's separate them. That's about the only thing that's gonna fix this. Wow, that was weird. All right, now we can reattach. Our destroyer's gonna, I think, sail off into the sunset. That's fine. Get him out of there. I think the battleships can handle this from here. Let's watch torpedoes here, though. Nice. A couple of real nice hits on the Liverpool. Just gotta watch, see if they get any torpedoes going here. All right. We might even be able to launch one into him if he gets behind us. Oh, nice hit. He's gonna get into torpedo range though, real soon. Make sure that they're on avoid torpedo. I'm sure he's about to fire one. He's probably only got underwater tubes though. Ooh, yeah, we did get a torpedo hit. I was hoping for that. And an instant sinking. Beautiful. So our battleships are sinking other ships with torpedoes. Love to see that. Alright, I think the Liverpool is down now. That's going to leave this torpedo boat, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him run and get out of here. Nice. Yeah, you know what? We'll just let him go. Beautiful. Alright, 1,400 more enemy crew taken out. Another 1,800 victory points. We sank a battleship, two light cruisers, and a destroyer. All at the loss of a torpedo boat and some damage to a destroyer. That's a good day's work. And that just increases our tonnage advantage. I gotta believe we're getting close to being able to blockade. When you get a certain advantage on tonnage, that happens. This is one I think we'll just auto resolve. And then there's an ambush mission here. Six destroyers versus two. I'll auto resolve that. I'm mostly concerned about getting his big ones. Now we've got a 30,000 to 20,000 advantage in victory points. We've got an active fleet of 10 battle... Oh, because we have two that are being repaired. That's why. Where are we on crew? We've got plenty of crew available at the moment. Research-wise, at this point, we're getting to the place, uh, the place where research isn't going to matter a whole lot just because we won't get the new ships out in time. There's a battleship versus a bunch of torpedo boats. We'll auto-resolve that one because those don't usually go well when I fight them myself. A lot of these smaller missions I just auto-resolve at this point. Where are we on transports? We're at 102%, so I'm going to start putting a little more money into that. We'll drop back on crew training for a little bit because we've got a nice pool of crew available. It seems like whenever you go back into a campaign after saving this add crew button gets d selected so you have to go back in and do it again or else they don't add the crew uh, to fill those numbers back up 
I'm not sure why that is. All right, so we've got a 10 to 6 advantage on battleships, uh, 17 to 16 on heavy cruisers. We're, we're going to have the advantage in light cruisers as soon as these new ones are out. Uh, we've got the advantage in destroyers. Torpedo boats, I'm really not too concerned about. He's building some new light cruisers, destroyers, torpedo boats. Um, and he created plans of a new heavy cruiser design. Advanced Big Funnels 2. We've now got 18 inch torpedo tubes available. So uh, those along with the range are really nice advances in torpedo technology. It's just unfortunate that we don't have any new ships that we're working on. Though now, a new destroyer for 900 tons, that that's an interesting thought because with the new, um, new torpedoes we have, it's a good time to design a new destroyer. So large torpedo boat. Uh, this is going to give us the ability. At the, it's a 900 ton ship. I'm actually going to go with the front tower too. I'm not going to worry too much because I'm mostly going to use these as torpedo boats. So I'm not going to worry too much about having the best tower technology. What I really want are some 18 inch torpedoes. We do have to put at least one main gun, so we'll just throw a two inch gun on here somewhere. I'm a little disappointed you can't throw that on the tower. I wonder if there's a different tower that we can put it on. That tower is actually a little bit smaller, so it might allow for room for a gun up front. It does. Okay, uh, we need funnels. We can't quite get a third funnel on there. I'm not going to worry about that too much, though. But let's throw these torpedo tubes up more central so that we have a, a better weight offset. We're almost balanced now. I want to have a little more... Uh, now nah, we'll keep the semi-balanced rudder. We want to try and have survivability on these things for as long as possible. 18-inch torpedoes. I'm not worried about rangefinder. I will. I will do the radio though. And I'm gonna go light shells, reduce number of shells, because I'm not worried about those things. These are torpedo boats for me. And then we're going to add some speed. Not worry about armor at all. Where does that put me on? Oh, engine efficiency is still 100%, so we're good. All right, cool. Glorified torpedo boats. That's what these are. And let's go ahead and start building some. We'll get 10 of them going. And then we'll probably scrap some of the older ships that we've got. It's a one-on-one -on -one battleship duel, which I think I know how that's going to go. So I'm going to auto-resolve it. Ah, oh, it worked. We sank the ocean. That's been going on. If you remember the last episode, um, we kept having this encounter between the Thuringen and the ocean. And he kept running away. So that time I auto-resolved and we sank him. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a new technology in explosives. TNT1, early mixture, is now available. Again, not going to make much use of that in this particular campaign, uh, since I believe these campaigns end after 10 years, the existing ones. We just sank two of his light cruisers and some transports. Uh, so that'll be something that, you know, technology obviously is going to matter a whole lot more when we get into longer campaigns than we currently have. We just lost a battleship. That I didn't really see coming, but you can see all the torpedo boats we were up against, so I shouldn't be incredibly surprised by that. Our light cruisers are now at service, and so now we have an equal number of light cruisers, equal number of heavy cruisers. 
Uh, he, I really, I'm honestly surprised he has kept up with us uh, in terms of the numbers of ships, considering the huge advantage we've had in terms of what we've sunk. But um, I guess they are the British, and so they tend to have more funds available to do that stuff. He just discovered Torpedo Gyroscope. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do as far as a new battleship design. Uh, we still can only get Battleship 3, which is still really disappointing as far as the ships go. I don't think we have a lot in terms of new technology that even really makes it worth it. So I think I'm going to hold off on building any new battleships for the moment. Research-wise, there's nothing really coming down the pike that really is going to be worth it. Internals protection, that's about it. Okay, we've got our new destroyers uh, in the fleet now. So now we've got a 43 to 36 advantage on destroyers. Um, we're down to 1,400 in our crew pool. So I want to go and, and sort now by oldest ships. We do have a couple of 1898 ships out there still. Uh, I'm going to scrap a couple of these oldest destroyers and torpedo boats. But for the most part, keep everything else going. And I think I'm going to go ahead and build some more of those torpedo or of those destroyers let's get five more of those going and then i want to look at the fleet real quick and see what's in being and what's in sea control i want to get some of these new ones set to sea control so we'll hopefully see them a little more often showing up in missions All right, we're working on a new heavy cruiser design. Uh, we're going to have TNT available to us for the first time. Of course, these are going to take a while to build, and at this point, I might be better off just to build new smaller ships that I'll be able to get into service faster. But I think we've got this about where we want it. Um, some 8-inch guns. Got some fives, some twos on the side. I'm going to cut down the number of twos that we have. We've got those new 18 inch torpedoes available to us. And then I think we'll add a little more belt armor. And we'll go with it. So let's go ahead and get a few of those going. How about five? Okay, two of our big battleships, the Friedrich Wilhelm and the Schlesen, uh, along with one of our new destroyers up against a battleship, a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers. Should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, pretty even in terms of tonnage. So let's do it. Okay, here we go. So this time we've got two of our newer battleships, our heavier ones. We've got the one destroyer. Let's see if we can make better use of it this time. The whole point of these new destroyers I've got is that they're fast. They're torpedo boats. They're meant to go in and put some torpedoes on the enemy before he can take them out. So let's do what we can. Hopefully they're closing in on us and we'll make contact pretty quickly. Okay, here they come. Let's see who's out front. It's the battleship. So let's get our screen. Let's turn off the torpedoes and not make the same mistake we did last time. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got his escorts on either side. So again, it's going to be a little tricky to get in at the battleship. But I'm going to go ahead and start turning this way. Because I want to be able to get the destroyer in at the battleship as quickly as I can. Just be careful here. Oh, they're starting to fire on me, so let's get the smoke going. We're actually going to be able to protect the Friedrich Wilhelm in the meantime. Oh, uh, boy. I think we're going to have a little collision here. Thankfully, that doesn't hurt anything. All right, now let's cut around.
Man, he's already got some hits on me. We'll put it on set. Ooh, we got an ammo detonation. We're going to put them on save so at least they're going to start aiming. But we may lose this thing before we even get a chance to get those torpedoes in the water. I'm going to cut over. All right, we got two torpedoes in the water. That's probably going to be it. We're going to at least get one hit. New 18-inch. Oh, and the Duncan's already dead before we even hit it. Jeez, 12-inch guns. Did the trick. My goodness, we lit that guy up. And we wasted our torpedoes, unfortunately. We got in so close with those battleships that they just lit them up in a hurry. Well, the nice thing is it's good to know that these 17,000 ton battleships that we built are really um, earning their keep because they have been solid in battle so far. Really solid. I'm going to slow down the speed so we can get some more accuracy. Those 12 inch guns, I think they're Mark IIs. Oh no, those are Mark ones. Alright, do we try another run? Go after this heavy cruiser now? Take our chances, see if we can get one. We've got a lot of accuracy issues right now with uh, our ability to turn. And I don't know if we'll survive a torpedo run here or not. Put it on save for the time being. You can see now we've got that three kilometer range on these torpedoes on this new ship. All right, we're gonna go normal because I'm taking a lot of damage. I might not get a chance to to wait. Although it doesn't look like we're ready anyway. That's right. As long as he's firing on the destroyer, he's not firing on my battleships. Come on, get reloaded, guys. The only th bad thing about these 18-inch torpedoes, they take a long time to reload. Only going nine knots. This light cruiser is going to come in and drop some torpedoes on me, and there's not a lot I can do about it. Let's try and cut the rudder right now. I don't think it's going to matter. He's got me. Oh, no, we missed it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that was a nice turn. That was beautiful. Boy, if we can get those torpedoes going now, he's got two ships right in the same spot. Uh, I don't know if we're going to survive long enough to get the torpedoes in the water. It's taking too long. These guys are sh circling me like sharks. Yeah, we're toast. Darn it. Uh, okay. Well... We didn't get to make use of those torpedoes too much. I'm 
Let's finish off the heavy cruiser. Although at this point, maybe the light cruisers are the greater threat because of their torpedoes. Although the heavy's got a couple too. Leeson's doing a nice job on the Shannon right now. Ooh, nice hit. Shannon might be going down. Yeah, they're going to have just enough survival there. All right, you know what? Let's finish them off. I'm a little worried about the skirmisher getting in and getting a torpedo run on me. There goes Shannon. Okay. Actually, Schlesen might be able to get a torpedo on skirmisher if they get in behind me. I'm going to detach and go a little more straight with the Schlesen because I think we can get a torpedo at least mess them up a little bit. Might not get a hit from here. Let's go ahead and start swinging around. All right, I'm a little nervous about how close we're getting right here to the skirmisher. We did get a torpedo in the water. I think we got a decent chance for a hit. Oh yeah, it's gonna nail him. All right, Schleason, turn hard. Uh. I think I waited too long to turn. We're going to we're going to take a hit here. Actually might have been better off trying to turn the other way. It's going to hit me right in the middle. Not going to do much damage though. Skirmisher on the other hand got nailed pretty hard. All right, let's speed back up. We did take some decent flooding damage, but nothing I don't think we can... Nothing I, I, I think is going to be an issue. I think we'll recover from that okay. All right, the Blake's coming in for a torpedo run too. That concerns me a little bit. All right, I'm actually going to cut toward him. Because I think with his torpedo coming in, that might be my better option. Nah, it's going to hit me. That's a little more flooding, but again, I think we'll be okay. Let's get our secondaries firing on Skirmisher. Since our mains are going after the Blake. Alright, let's be careful here. No, I don't want to end the battle. I want to sink these things. Oh, no. But maybe I'm better off to end the battle before I lose a battleship. 
Yeah, because that's a lot of flooding. Now let's end the battle. All right. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how I feel about that, but I think I was gonna survive it. But that worked out pretty well. We sank a battleship, sank a heavy cruiser, sank two light cruisers, lost one of our new destroyers, but survived with both of our battleships. That's what really matters here. You can see the tonnage that we sank. Nicely done. Okay, so with that now we have a 35,000 to 22,000 advantage in victory points. We've got, we're good on budget. We've got two battleships, two destroyers being repaired. We've got five new heavy cruisers and five new destroyers being built, uh, which you can see where that'll put us in terms of numbers. We'll still be ahead. We've got a nice advantage on victory points, which means with the year and a half or so, I don't know if we go to the end of 1910 or if it's the beginning of 1910 or how that works. Uh, with the time that's left in this campaign, though, I think we're in pretty good shape. But I'm going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. I'm guessing we'll have maybe one more episode in this. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.